Well, good afternoon, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids, and what I'll do this afternoon is just bring it into the grow room. Bear with me, I'm just putting the centre light on, and just show you what's happening uh, with my orchids. Now, uh, this is the uh, Tolumnia um, Scandens. This is this is that one that's a species one. And if you remember, I detached this one from the mother plant and it's growing up there. Now, look at the mother plant. Nothing there for the mother plant. She shed all the leaves, but I've got the baby, that, um, that one there. So I'm hoping that um, this little baby one uh, will now romp away um, like this one's done. And this is one of my other mounts. And uh, that's the Phalaenopsis um, Finleyi, and uh, it's got a root round there. But for some reason that stopped growing. But as that stopped growing, this one's now growing. And uh, this one here is um, that's Seagull's Gem. That's a little cat layer, species one, and that's got a new green root. And this one seems to be struggling a little bit. Um, that's a. Um, I've got it in the in the scrunchy ball. When I come to that, I'll I'll tell you what it is. So um, everything's coming along fine. Yesterday, um, I was in in here and uh, I was watering everything, and um, some things have repotted. So let's just take you along here. Now this is that little um, cat layer cernua. There we are. And um, see that white stuff in there? That's a, li a little bit of white tack. And this is was just slightly wobbling. You remember me saying? And it, and it was that little bit in there that was wobbling. So I thought, well. I'm going to push some, push, push some um, white tack in there, and uh, and it's secured it. And hopefully, there's that nice new um, eye. Hopefully, that will develop. And uh, so that one sits there. That's the uh, scaphoglottis, and that's doing very, very well there. And this is uh, for uh, Mick of Mix Mazdevalias and this is uh, Mazdevalia Pixis and for Roger that's my little Medio Calcar um, it came and I've lost one side but that one's not aborted yet and these sit in the other room because um, this is too warm in here uh, uh, because these both these are cool growers and uh, so we'll go along here, of course that's my Epicat layer, uh, Santa Maria, um, no, uh, Epicat layer Alatilio uh, bar Santa Maria. And I'm hoping maybe that will uh, give me some flowers this year. I've got new roots coming there. And uh, you see these little pots here. Um, we had two clematis this week. Well, last week, and uh, I said to Keith, "Oh, that's just the size I want." And uh, so we had two. So I've managed to um, repot um, two of my Phragmopediums in them, and and then I went hunting um, through uh, one of our local uh, nurseries and uh, under a bench where they have all their old pots. I got ten of those and he said, oh, they're very expensive those are and I looked at him and I thought, well, they're in your rubbish. But anyway, he says, oh, I didn't know you wanted to buy some. And, oh, well, you can have them for 50p each. Well, I thought, well, that wasn't too bad, really. So I got ten for five pound. And, of course, my big ones sit in these other big pots. That's the Ripteri there. And... Uh, this is that uh, Phalaenopsis here, the one that's uh, got that new inflorescence. And uh, and of course this is the big grassy coy. 
So uh, some of the larger uh, Phalaenopsis I've put in these black pots just to elevate them. I, I mean I did, I mean let's look at that one in that corner. One of the three sisters over there. And uh, that's enormous. So um, I wanted to elevate them up. Uh, this one's not been repotted yet but um, when I get the chance I'll uh, look at each one individually and um, let's have a look what's going on over here. That of course down there is the... Uh, let's have a look. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go, that's the uh, Fires Tank and Villia. Is anything happening there? Let me have a look over here. I'll just bring it on the windowsill and if I turn this way, I should have the light behind me. And this is the one, if you remember, that a few weeks ago. I, uh, this is what you could do with your third hand, isn't it? I repotted this, didn't I? And can you see the new roots? Let's uh, just get a good grip over it on it. Otherwise I'm going to be spilling it everywhere. And uh, can you see there? There. Now this is one of those that likes um, likes to be moist, but it doesn't like it wet. So um, I have to be careful not to overwater, and it sits down there on that shelf. So um, the only one I'm struggling with at the moment is. Um, this chia e yinlin. Let me see. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this one. Got to try and find it. If you notice that leaf might be going as well. I don't know what to do with that one. Sometimes, you know, I get a bit despondent. I don't know whether other people do because, um, you know, you you buy these orchids and you think it's going to be so easy. And then some of them don't like to transition very easily. And you don't understand why and you try everything. And yet others will just romp away without any trouble. I mean, this one's never been any trouble. This is the um, um, Procatavolia, Jarak uh, Little Green Star. And uh, this one's got roots coming out all over the place. And, and just loves it. So, and yet others... I struggle with. Now look at this one. This was a surprise today. It's down there on, on the shelf and this is the uh, Stellis. Look at that. Huh. A little flower. Well, I couldn't believe me luck. Look at that. So, yesterday I was feeling a bit despondent in some ways and because they can be hard work. You've got to look at each one individually. You've got to... Um, they all have different water requirements. They all have different feed requirements. And um, at times it can be hard work. Um, and especially if for some unknown reason uh, one of them starts to deteriorate. And you've no idea why it's deteriorating. So. I mean, this one last year, if you remember this one last year, this is the Lelia Ruben Rubensons. And uh, this is the one that started to rot last year. And that's the new growth there, you see. And that's the other new growth, just tucked in there. And uh, this one's now romping away. But sometimes, even even now, the, the root will be fine, and then all of a sudden, the root will um, abort. And I'm thinking, well, why has it done that? What have I done wrong now? But maybe it's not something I've done wrong. Oh, who knows? So, um, now, over here in this corner here, um, we've not got Eddie's mount. And I had to do a bit of an emergency the other night, because... Um, the little uh, ascocendrum, uh, the little growing root, uh, had gone black. And I thought, well, what's caused that? And um, I didn't do anything until the day after. And then 
when I looked at the mount, it just, it, where I'd got the orchids tucked in, each place it had got like a white mould. And it's not like the mould that comes when you've got phalaenopsis in water culture. It wasn't anything like that. So I had to set two. Not this one, of course. This is just the uh, the little uh, phalaenopsis samira. I'm just showing you there as I'm talking away. This one's loving it. It's so happy. Um, so I had to do an emergency and get them all off and, and repot them all. This is Cookie's trousers hung on the door. Uh, this is the um, Phalaenopsis, the species one, um, Amboyensis. So, um, is it growing any? I think so. And so they they're just back here at the moment. It's um, it's easy enough just to lift lift them off here and put them on. And that's the little. Um, Dendrobium Williamsii. So that had to be remounted. And the other one's round the corner there. Um, there, can we see? Now let's see if it'll focus. Come on. Sorry about that. Come on. There. So, um, that's on that little mount there. And the others, I've just put them on different little mounts here. If we've got one here. Oh, this one here, if I can get it off, is the, uh, last year we had uh, Dendrobium J.O. Candy. There we go. And it sent these two new growths out, didn't it? I noticed on the other section it's sending one out now there. There we go. So um, that really likes this mount and I'm dead chuffed with that. And that goes under there. So it's a bit of a tight squeeze here. Um, now let me just show you this one. I don't know whether it'll allow me to lift it off or whether I've got to... Here we go. Now this is my Van der Falcata Schutenow. Let's just take you back. I'm sorry, I don't want to have the vision wrong. And look at that. <laughs> I thought that was um, a new growth, but when I looked, that is a flower spike, and there we go. I don't wish it's the best best angle to show it at you for, because it doesn't help. I don't keep shaking, so uh, I'm dead chuffed about that one. And uh, so that prom prompted me to look at this one, which is uh, um, Baby Angel. And uh, it's got a nice growing tip there. You see, because this has got this has got the same type of a, um, and I thought it was a new um, growth. A new fan, as they call them. But I'm not sure whether that one's a new fan or whether it's going to have a flower on it. Anyway, let me just step up here now and uh, I've got a little step here. I'll show you what I've done here. Alright, let it just focus. There we go. Wrong way. There we go. So that's 
sorry about that. And one's the same as, one's a Luce and Airy, and the other one's Joy Irene. I've got the humidifier on here. So they're in, they're, they're little square baskets inside um, one of these that came from China and they just sit up there nicely. Um, so do the uh, um, Van der Peaches, which is um, Falcata times uh, Cervifol Curly Curvifolia. And this one here, if I can go a little bit closer. Come on, it's not working now. That's um, Miniata, and those are the two flower inflorescences. There we go. That's doing wonderfully well. And again, see these are in these baskets here. And this is the Lucinary, this one here. So that's doing very, very well. And just tuck down there. Let's turn the fucker off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just tuck down there. Look at the length of that leaf now. And that's uh, MS Sunlight. So that's doing wonderfully well. I checked this Hoya yesterday, thinking this might be ready for feed and water. But when you when I touch it, um, it still feels quite damp, that um, mixture. So again, I don't want to over water. That's a little Ascocendrum. And I've put that in that little basket there. So, uh, and that of course is the uh, Fred Clark here. No water yet. Still no water. Probably, well we may next week aren't we? So, it's, and uh, William from um, My Green Pets isn't going to water us till the end of May. So, I may be following his advice. And that is of course Polynopsis parichii. So, all in all, and this is of course uh, um, Tetraspis. There's that nice growing inflorescence there. So, sorry about that, I'm just going to bring you up to show you the top shelf. I'm getting caught on the, on the van to behind me. Oh dear. So, there's the top shelf over there. I've just got to see to uh, my uh, uh, Dendrobium plicker tile, that big one over there, but I'll show, the, show you the other off cut. And uh, so let's take you over to this side. And uh, this is the um, Vanda Curvifolia. And that's been hydrated today. And, uh, and oh! And of course, this is the big roots of my pastoral innocence. So let's see if we can just lift this one down because this is uh, my lovely um, Lelia autumnalis. And I've got new roots coming out there. And there's that new growth. So um, the environment's right at last. I understand now what an environment is and it's taken me a long time and sometimes I wonder whether it's just you know me being uh, you know short on knowledge or but anyway I've got the environment right now I understand it completely and I, these orchids now are responding and if we go on this one for Roger. I don't know if you'll see that, but there's, if I go in there, there's one new growing tip. There's another one there. Can you see them just poking up? Another one there. So we've got one, two. I think we've got, oh, and one just tucked down there. So we've got one, two, three, four, and I'm waiting for the, for the for the one at that end to come through. So, with a bit of luck, 
Now I'm going to turn this way around. I'm going to go out of focus a little bit. Let's get focused in on something. This one's struggling a little bit. This is my um, tetragonum and the, the only reason it's struggling a bit is it, it just seems to dry out very very quickly and I don't know why it dries so quickly. This one's my baccararia. Baccar. There we are. And that is giving me a new root. So I'm dead chuffed about that. And this is the little um, dendro um, Dendrobium falco rostrum, the one that I mounted on that little tiny piece of wood. That loves it. This is the, uh, it's a bit in the light isn't it dear, I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is the um, Dendrobium thysiflorum, with that new growth. And if I just step back a fraction, you'll see here. Now I'm going to, I'll just see, sorry about this. I do apologise, because what I'm not wanting to do is be in my own light, whether that's any easier. And that's the Rinko Stylis Gigantica. And can you see, there's that big root there. And uh, what I did with that one, it was on that big uh, hanger. And uh, this is a hell of a job to keep hydrated, this one is. So um, I thought, well, here goes. And I improvised. I, cut a, I got one of these bigger um, open type baskets. See, I didn't want it too bit open uh, because I wanted to put sphagnum moss in it. And um, so it sits there now. And uh, you wouldn't believe that those roots this morning um, were hydrated. So let's just squeeze back in here now. And I don't know whether my flicker tile will let me show you. Luke. Come on. See if you focus. Let's go back in. Come on. It's got a flower inflorescence coming. So I'm wondering now whether or not that other one on the other wall uh, will have the same. And that's that's the one that has the upside down flower. And that next to it of course is my uh, dendrobium hmm uh, docrelia. And that's doing very well. Of course, that's the uh, Cattleya Lalia Perperata. And this is the Aerades, the Aerades Falcata. And that's doing very, very well. And that one over there, of course, is the big Cattleya Pamela Heatherington. So if I just gently Take you, take you back out and uh, I come behind this shelving unit here and uh, this is uh, um, hmm. this is my, one of my King Gainham's but look at that I don't think it's going to do anything I don't think these have been kept cool enough um, King's It Red Splash, this one is. That's a little Phalaenopsis. That's, it's an OID one, this. And uh, that's in Rescue. And of course, that's the big uh, Dendrobium Crumamentum. And uh, that's, I don't think that's going to flower. Because it's not been, it's not been uh, cool enough. And... Uh, I need next winter to uh, have everything a lot, lot cooler. Well, the Australian type ones anyway. So um, that is, of course, um, that was, sorry, that was Delicatum. I hope I didn't say the wrong one. And this is um, Crumamentum. And uh, 
So that's coming along fine. And this is one of the Phalaenopsis that I've put into this larger container because it elevates them up. And uh, some of them have not transitioned over yet if they've not got very big um, uh, root systems. I'm leaving them where they are. And just tucked in there is my uh, Adenum um, Hobson uh, Desert Rose. Can you see? So, uh, what else is there to show you? I don't think there's anything else. Let's have a look if this one... That's a scrunchy ball, and nearly scrunched off. Um, this is... Um, Tetragonum. You can't believe, I can't believe these were all actually soaked yesterday and they're, uh, they're wanting watering again now. It's, uh, it's, well let's have a look. In the grow room at the moment we've got, uh, zoom in boy, 78% humidity and 24 degrees um, temperature. And yesterday was an absolute horrendous day yesterday. I've never seen rain like it. And Mr. Ali, who's of course our resident little alligator in the pond, Mr. Ali uh, found himself outside the pond. The waves were that big. <laughs> he just came outside. And uh, so we've had to put him back today. Oh, I was just going to show you this one. Let me just show you this one before I take my leave of you. And then, because I'm sweating cubs here. Here we go. Now, this is heavy. So I don't want to, to drop it. Look at that. That's my Angraecum. It's a squippy darley. And, now will it let me show you? Which is the best angle to do it at? Hold on. Hold on. So we've got one. Let's take you back. Oh, no, don't do that. There we go. So we've got three roots there. And remember the other one. That one. Straight down. So, repotting this, when I did, was the best thing that could have happened. It absolutely loves this uh, new environment. So I'm really chuffed about that. And uh, what's happening under here? Is there anything? Let me just show you this one. That's that uh, Phalaenopsis with that inflorescence starting there. Well, it's been going on a while, hasn't it? And that's got some nice new roots. So, like I say, some of that have transitioned over. And uh, some of them, if they've only got small roots, I'm leaving them alone. And uh, I think that's it for the moment. There we go. So, everything's growing. Everything's got new roots on it. And... Um, Hopefully, 